Hello everyone, this is Zenam. Welcome to another tutorial of Delivery Marketing. And today I'm going to show you how you can easily create a clothing brand logo for any business. It's a multi-purpose logo, signature style, so elegant and professional that you can use for any brand. So very simple, easy technique that I'm going to show you how you can easily create it. So if you're a beginner and you're learning to design logos, then, then these techniques might help you. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do, I will create these two initials of the letters and create an interlocking fact in that and then connect with the rest of the parts so simple um, so let's start now with me okay first of all what I'm going to do I will take this text layer from here writing letter R and S here changing the letter S to different font here I'm using circle majala for letter R and for letter S I'm taking canonet here and uh, if you, uh, these are both, both the fonts are the free fonts that I have taken from the uh, font.com. So if you, if you don't know how to add the font in the font library, then you can uh, just watch my video on that. It, that's available in my uh, collection. So you can easily watch it. And if you are a beginner, that might help you. So now the next step that I'm going to do, I will go into the create outlines. Ungroup it. Here I want to increase the size of letter S, letter R, just like this. And here adjusting the letter S within it. Okay. Now increase the. Now changing the um, black color with the stroke. Increase the size of the stroke to make it more thicker and prominent. So it will be looking like this now. And here I'm increasing the size so it will be more prominent what I'm going to do in the next step. And here you can check it. I'm going to make it more thicker. So it will be looking like this now. I think 20 is the best. So, okay, so now going to the object here, I'm choosing the expand. You make sure the fill and stroke both are checked here. Press OK. And uh, here, what I'm going to do, I will go into the window here, choose the Pathfinder and unite all the layers together. So it will be a one letter S now. And uh, OK, so now what I'm going to do, I will select both the layers together here and just to create an interlocking effect in that. So for this, I will distribute the uh, layers uh, I'm taking this Shea Builder tool from here, taking this one, making it here, and uh, now taking this one, this one, And so all the layers are done now. Okay, so now I am going to change the color so it will be more prominent, more prominent how the layers has been distributed to create a uh, interlocking effect. So for that, I'm going to change, I will go into the color palette and here I will choose the gradients and now here the by default gems and choose and here I will choose this one. And now take the gradient tool and just changing the position of the gradient to make it more balanced and smooth. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I will take this one. And here I'm changing the color here so it will be looking like this now this letter R color with the similar one so I will take this one with the color picker tool and then again adjusting the layers make it a little darker okay so I'm now going to connect the letters together here press ctrl G and uh, now what I'm going to do, I will write Smith here. 
and uh, here you can see I'm using the same font that I have used for the letter S. So you can see that there is a lot of uh, spacing between the characters. So what I'm going to do, I will reduce it down to connect together like this and now convert into the outlines and uh, here I'm increasing the uh, make it more thicker so for that what I'm going to do I will increase the stroke and increase the size like this here connect it with the last layer of the uh, letter S and now it will be looking like this now I'm going into the object here I will choose the expand and now unite all the layers together here remove it from here and choose the same ungroup it before that and choose the same uh, color that we have used for letter s select all the layers and then this one now give it a color like this and now make it more balanced so it will be looking like this here so you can see how it will be look like and again connect it what i um, just going to the pathfinder and connect these two layers together just to avoid this one so it will be look like this now take the gradient mod and make it more change the position of the gradients so it will be looking like this so you can see how the uh, logo is looking like now now what i'm going to do i will write uh, fashion brand here fashion wear so it will be this this is the tagline so i'm changing the font to sakal majala that we have used the font that we have used for the letter r and uh, now increasing the characters the spacing of characters i think this one is enough and now decrease the size and keep it here just like this okay so these are the simple things if you want then you can change the, uh, into the outline and you can give it a similar color as well just like this so it will be looking like this now so these are the simple techniques and uh, uh, there's some uh, very easy way to create uh, these type of uh, logos that you can uh, just uh, uh, create it within 10 minutes so very simple easy technique to make it thank you so much for watching if you like my tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye